my name is Mario Vollera and uh, I'm originally from Rome, Italy and I'll be part of uh, the longest pizza of the world. The idea started about a year ago between a uh, few guys, Tony Gimignani, Fash from pizzacom.com, uh, pizzaovens.com and uh, John Arana, Giulio Adriani, Orlando Food and some other people. They got together and they decided to to the attempt of bringing the longest pizza in the world. And it was more or less eight to 10 to one year time to just process in our know, mind. I remember that the night of the attempt, we all get together and uh, have uh, numbers of people I want to mention, but uh, for everybody, Fash, Tony Gimignani, Giulio Adriani, John Arena, Orlando Food, Chris, uh, and everybody. It's a pizza .com, Ali, Gianni, Nick, Gino, Forza Pizza, Roberto Caporuscio, Michele, Amelio, The Venice Bakery, Harrison, Jimmy, Cisco, and the 100 pizzaiolos that during the night and during the day they came from all over the United States and as well outside of the United States. From Chicago, Boston, New York, San Francisco, you name it. And it was fantastic to get all the best pizza all in the world that all together to basically have the same uh, focus to make the world largest pizza. It was amazing. But we did uh, 6,333 feet, which equals uh, 1.3 miles. Does have been baked uh, overnight. So we've been awake all night, working really hard and they're helping each other. I remember funny thing, like some of the guys, Nick and Gino, they left and they went uh, in some 24 hours and they were well, beautiful done it. You know, when you are awake all night and a bit of coffee and a bit of dawn, a couple of laugh, they really give you the energy to carry on and, uh, and doing the attempt. Uh, 8,000 pounds of dough. So 8,000 pounds of dough, guys, is, is, is a mountain of dough. And uh, I remember that the two weeks before previous the uh, attempt in a Venice Beach bakery uh, with Jimmy and Arizona and Julio, the guys sheet the dough and they prepare it, thousands of uh, feet of dough with a lot of uh, volunteers. We got a 5,600 pound of sous tomato sauce, which has been um, generously offered by Orlando Food, so the tomato sauce for chow. And uh, we had two cubic meters of tomato sauce. We used to put in a, in a big box and then on top of the pizza. Imagine that we use 3,600 pounds of cheese that Cisco uh, put on, uh, as a, one of our sponsors gave it to us. And it was amazing to see all this. We had like, I know there's four or five little kids and they were so happy to put the cheese on top of the pizza. It was a really, it was a really a huge ceremony for us. Everybody were happy, of course, very, very tired. But in the end of the day, we really made it. I remember the last uh, few feet, we had a little problem with the pizza going in the oven. So we got kind of scared, but I mean, that passion, that emotion of everybody, all these best pizza chef in the world and all the volunteers that they came, more than 100 volunteers that were, were amazing. To do something that big, you need to have a big team behind you. And you have to have as well, you have to be part of the team itself. So you need to work hard and be sure that you're gonna do it. And we overcome a lot of problems that we had overnight and during the day with the chicken wire, with the, with the oven. It was amazing, amazing, really. Beautiful experience I will never forget in my life. Even when one day someone else is gonna do the longest pizza in the world, I still think that that people that I met and the experience that we did, it was uh, just uh, one of a kind for me. As well, the organization was uh, really, really well made. Uh, really, really well done. So the, the other things that really, really um, actually surprised me, make me very proud, it was at the end. So once that uh, the judge uh, from Guinness Records say that we actually made it, 6,333 feet of uh, pizza, wow! I saw an 
hundreds of people, residents from Fontana, running like crazy with these boxes. A thousand of boxes and pizza boxes. And I remember everybody cut these pizzas like in about 30 minutes. The old 1.3 miles was gone. We distribute to home shelter, to churches, and we think, uh, we're not sure about the number, but we're pretty sure we feed more than 4,000 people that day. And to see the faces of these volunteers, they had really left the family behind, the job, some of them, and they just come to help. For me, it was amazing. As well, on the other hand, we've been covered by a lot of different uh, TV, TV station, uh, bloggers, and that make us very proud. We would like to see the last thing to close up this and that uh, I learned a lot from uh, this uh, attempt and I learned that uh, all together as a team when there is a chance we can really perform um, it doesn't matter what your task is or what your focus is or what your final goal is but if you have a group of people that really work together and for the same goal really hard and it's gonna happen and that can be happening for anything in your life. It can be the longest pizza in the world, it can be feed the homeless, it can be just make the world a better place, it can be as well feed people with better food. It can be whatever you put in your mind. Because if you want to really do it, then you can do it.